Good evening, I'm Dr. Rhonda Sims. I'm one of the nursing professors at the Maysville Community College RN program, and we're here on site today at the health department to get the ball rolling to start helping with the vaccine administration. Back in December, Bridget Likens that works here, she contacted me and I think a couple other teachers and asked us by any chance could we assist in the administration of that vaccine because they knew they would be big numbers when we hit the public, the educational systems, and et cetera. I uh, called upon my students at the sophomore level to see if they'd want to volunteer, talked to the LPN teacher, Tammy Burns, and the freshman teacher, Becky Leitner, to see if their students would want to volunteer as well. We had students come forward, and then the 1st of January, Mr. McKay notified me, it looks like we was gonna get some vaccine and could we start a schedule? We wanna save lives and we wanna save community members' lives and keep everybody safe. COVID has had an impact on, I think, academia uh, you know, nationwide, but specifically at college level when you're talking about healthcare programs where it's a hands-on approach, where a lot of our skill and the knowledge they acquire is through a hands-on approach. And with masks and social distancing, it's been a bit of a challenge, but we have not looked back. We're forging ahead and they'll be stronger clinicians because of what they've experienced. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told her, she's one of my students. We're a district health department. We promote the health and well-being of every citizen of Mason County. The vaccine became available and Rhonda Sims and I, we've been speaking and she's been a godsend and they're ready to hit the ground running. I've never seen such an enthusiastic bunch. But with limited staffing, this really is going to really move along once the vaccine becomes available. I'm going to have six extra hands in addition to my five. So that's really going to speed it up. Can we do it in the, in the, in the time that we're doing it without MCTC? No, we would have to probably spread that over a week and a half. So we're very fortunate. This opportunity here has allowed us the flexibility of being able to make a schedule and, and come and help out the health department while meeting the needs of our community in other ways as well. So this has been a win-win for everyone. And like I said, if it makes a difference in one life, we've done what we're here for.